Hello everyone. If you're watching this right now, that means that this product that I'm about to unbox has been a success. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and unbox an HD video capture. And this is from AGP Tech. This thing is actually a sticker. And that's because this uh, HD capture thing is sold like under like 40 different brands. But anyways, the box is pretty minimal. Um, standalone capture USB disc, no PC required. That is very important because, you know with my IndieBox uh, reviews, the footage is always terrible because my laptop, like I've said before, it's as powerful as an Easy Bake Oven. It is, it is dreadful when it comes to capturing stuff, which is not a very good service to you guys because it doesn't really show you an accurate look of what the game looks like. So I need to find a solution. And um, I decided that I would look to find like better HD video capture stuff because what I've been using ugh, is the Elgato Capture HD. So I've been using this and I've been having a lot of success with it, except for when the laptop is both using the HD Capture and also uh, running the game, because this thing, it needs a PC to go ahead and render and do all that, uh, do all that stuff to save the game footage. But anyways, this one right here, like you see, it doesn't need a PC. So hopefully that can absolve that whole problem. And uh, let's see what else is here. Please do not record copyright material. Thank you, China. Yeah, pot calling the kettle black. But um, anyways, the box is very simple. Oh, let me see. Yeah, there's not much on the back side of it. Just, I guess, some specs and how it works. But let's see. And it records in 1080p, uh, 30 frames per second. So... Hopefully that's how I will be recording it. And this thing is pretty small. It's not that big at all. Let me compare it to Elgato's. And they're actually about the same size, you know? Um, this thing, it's a little bit... No, actually, their dimensions are almost exactly the same. When I was looking for an HD capture majig thing, um, one of the ones I had looked at was the Hapag PVR Rocket, I think it's called. And that one does pretty much the same thing that this does, but it's, I guess, in a better quality, better better setup. Uh, this thing, it's only come into the market maybe for, I guess, the early part of the year is when I really noticed it. And uh, let me unbox this right now. Unwrap it, I mean. But the Hapaga, that's been on the market for quite a while. And I've heard that it's a very good, a very good unit. It's a very good system. But at the time, I didn't get it because everybody told me that the Elgato HD Capture was better. And so I was like, look, if I'm going to buy one, I'm just going to go with the better model, the better brand. And now that I look back on it, I should have gone with the Hapag just because I'm having that problem now with the IndieBox um, uh, videos where I got to capture stuff from the, uh, from the laptop. And uh, so I guess the Hapag would have been a better choice for me, but I don't know. Elgato, it has a couple more features. If I ever wanted to stream, I could use that. Um, but either way, I do kind of regret that I went with that instead of the Hapag, because if I had that, I would not have to get this. But it looks pretty cool. Uh, you got the output for HDMI, then the input, you know, coming from the uh, console or the laptop. Uh, it also has this right here, which looks suspiciously like a micro US, um, no, micro HDMI input. But I went ahead and com uh, compared sizes, and it is not the same size. It also inputs power, and like I said, it doesn't need a, lot, uh, it doesn't need a computer, so um, you don't need a PC, you just input power, uh, you put in the H, uh, HDMI, and then put HDMI out, and then I guess you could put a USB stick right there, or for me, I just want to use an external drive, hopefully. And uh, one of the things that this one can do is it also can take microphones, so you can record your voice over the gameplay footage. To be honest, I don't know why anybody would want to do that. Uh, I would rather have the voice audio tracks separate, but I don't know, that's just me. Um, but they also make another version which doesn't have this stuff, so it's just blank right here with just that record button, and then everything here is the same, except it also doesn't have component, uh, component in. That's what this thing does, it brings in component. Um, that one, it's a little bit cheaper, but it's kind of harder to find, and to be honest, all the reviews I saw were for this one. So I figured that the other simpler one might be an older model, and I would rather just have the newer model that um, people were making good reviews about. I think this thing cost me a little bit more than $60. Uh, it was like 65 or something. But either way, let's get back into the box. Come on, get out. Out with you. Out. Oh, 
<laughs> box is empty. This is the rest of the box. All right. Oh, cool. It comes with HDMI cables. Well, at least with one. Uh, there's the power. Simple power adapter. The instructions. Very cool. Does that have any English? Let me see. Um, I know. It actually looks like it's pretty well written. Uh, pa pa pa. Yeah, looks all right. Oh, hey, it could record with PlayStation. Well, I mean, I guess that's what they're telling you how to record with PS3. Uh, of course, PS3 has a HDCP, I think it's called, where you can't record via HDMI. And here you go. Here's where you can input component. And so you see, you just input that right there, and here you go. I've read online, I don't know if this is true, but I've read online that when you're recording in 720p, and I think also with component resolution, I think it will go ahead and um, record in 720p or whatever, and 60 frames per second instead of 30. I don't know, that's just what I've heard. But either way, the max it could do is 1080p, 30 frames per second, that's what it's supposed to be doing. All right, ArcSoft. Uh, okay, video capture CD. I hope I don't have to install this thing. I don't know, because I just don't trust any installation discs, discs that come in from China. I don't know, that's just me. Either way, let's figure out if this thing performs or if it is just a piece of junk. Let's see. So, is this any good? Well, I don't know. You guys tell me. Yes, you've secretly been part of a long-term test this whole time. You didn't even know it. So yeah, ever since October, all the gameplay footage for the IndieBox episodes, that's all been recorded with this HD capture box. If you ask me, I think it looks great. I haven't seen any complaints so far. In fact, I've had a couple people asking me what do you use to capture the game footage. So I think this worked out pretty well. But it didn't start out like that. I was having a lot of problems at first. As you guys know, I wanted to record to my external hard drive. But when I hooked it up, it didn't work. It just made the hard drive do this weird clicking sound, and that scared the shit out of me. I was like, holy shit, this thing is deleting or corrupting my data. Who the hell knows what it's doing? So yeah, I got rid of that idea, and thankfully it didn't damage anything. So then I tried to use an 8GB flash drive from SanDisk. And that one didn't work either. It just wouldn't record anything. So by that point, I'm thinking, this thing is broken. I'm gonna have to send it back, maybe I lost my money, it just won't work. But then I decided to give it one last try. I bought the cheapest 32 gig flash drive on planet Earth, and it works now! It works beautifully! So I don't know what the problem was. Maybe just 8 gigs on a flash drive isn't enough for this thing to operate. All I could say is it works, and I love this thing. It is so simple and hassle-free. All you do is connect all the cords, put in the flash drive, hit the record button, and if the light turns red, that means you're recording. And when you want to stop, just hit the red record button again, and you're done. And of course there's no interface, so you can't tell it what kind of frame rate or resolution you want to work with. But all you need to know is that it always defaults to 1080p and 30 frames per second. But if your source is in 720p, then it will go into 60 frames per second. It also saves everything in MP4 format, which is really good because that's a very easy format to work with. And I checked out the editing software that's on that disc, and it's very basic. It's really just a program to splice together and cut up clips that you made. I guess it's for people who just upload gameplay clips and that's it. But since you can't add effects or anything, it's useless to me. Now of course I've been using that Elgato HD capture. And when you compare the two side by side, I really don't see a difference. They both look great, but I'm really amazed that the cheap capture box works this well. There are some differences though. The video files that you get from the cheap capture box are a lot bigger than the ones that you get from the Elgato. I'll put up a little chart so you guys can see what that difference looks like. And of course that is a disadvantage, but to me that's not really an issue. I have a big external hard drive with more memory than I know what to do with. Yes, there is a difference in the file size, but it's not even big enough to where I worry about it. Also, this capture box automatically splits up recordings. The parts are about 16 to 17 minutes each, and if you're like me, you do want that. Because for me, I'm just taking parts from those clips. So when they're broken down like that, it's a lot easier for me to scroll through them and find the part that I want to use. It's also good when editing because you have to import those video files and when they're smaller, that process is a lot smoother. The only problem I saw with this system is that this one time that I was recording in 1080p, I saw in the recording that it started to glitch up. This was right at the beginning of a segment, so I think it was just tripping over itself when it was trying to start a new segment. But you should know that that's not typical. I didn't see it happen anywhere else. Maybe I just encountered a rare glitch. I don't know. But I just want to put that out there to let you guys know that that stuff can happen. Another issue I had is that I couldn't get the audio input to work. 
But as I said before, I don't use that. And there's a possibility that it's just because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Now for the component input, I almost didn't test it. Because I only record in HDMI or composite. I don't think I've ever recorded through component. But I'm glad I did that test because there are some differences here. The HD capture box outputs to 720p, but only 30 frames per second. The Elgato HD capture does it in 60 frames per second. But the Elgato also outputs this weird aspect ratio that is totally off. And the capture box, while it did have the correct aspect ratio, for some reason the gameplay is darker than normal and it does look kind of muddy. So both of them actually have disadvantages when it comes to component. I guess it's just a matter of pick your poison. If I had to choose one, I guess I would go with the Elgato. And then during editing, I'll just stretch out the footage into the correct aspect ratio. And lastly, I did try composite, but this HD capture box will not record a composite signal at all. Most devices like this will record a composite signal through the component cables, but this one will not. But I tell you what, even though it won't, I still love this thing and I would still recommend it. It is such a headache relief. When I'm recording, I usually don't even notice it's there. It's that painless and easy to use. I can't think of any serious complaints, it does exactly what I wanted it to do. And even though I compared it to the Elgato HD capture, I'm not going to say that one is better than the other because they both do different things. That comparison was just illustrative of what else is out there. I was never expecting this thing to be a complete replacement for the Elgato. Both of these devices are playing an important role on my channel. The Elgato is a true workhorse, especially because I need the composite signal for retro gaming. And this HD capture box is now essential for my indie box reviews. But if you just need a simple box to record an HD signal that won't put stress on your computer, then this device is for you. I totally recommend it. And that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.